8 Things Your Doctor Won't Tell You About IVF IVF or in vitro fertilization is a complex process that couples often turn to when they face difficulties in conceiving naturally. It's a journey filled with hope and anticipation, but it can also bring challenges and uncertainties that are rarely discussed openly. This is why we believe it's important to shed light on these lesser-known aspects. We'll be diving deep into scientific research, unraveling facts and figures, and discussing how these hidden aspects can impact you. Our aim is to provide you with a comprehensive understanding, arming you with the knowledge to navigate this journey with confidence and resilience. So buckle up as we unfold the lesser-known facts about IVF, but before we go any further please like this video and subscribe to our channel. First things first, age and egg quality significantly influence IVF success rates. It's no secret that our biological clock plays a crucial role in reproduction. As we age, the quantity and quality of our eggs naturally begin to decline. This is a normal part of the aging process but it can have significant implications when trying to conceive through in vitro fertilization or IVF. Research shows that the success rate of IVF tends to decline as women get older. In fact, the American Society for Reproductive Medicine states that a woman's best reproductive years are in her 20s. By the time she reaches her mid-30s, her egg quality and quantity start to decrease and this decline accelerates in her 40s. Now you might be wondering what this has to do with egg quality? Well, egg quality refers to the potential of an egg to become a healthy embryo. An egg's quality is largely determined by its chromosomal integrity. And unfortunately, as women age, the likelihood of chromosomal abnormalities in eggs increases. This can lead to lower chances of successful implantation during IVF or even higher chances of miscarriage. But it's important to note that everyone is unique and these are just averages. Many women in their mid-30s and even early 40s have had successful pregnancies through IVF. However, understanding how age and egg quality can affect your IVF success rates may help you make informed decisions about your fertility journey. Remember, age plays a crucial role in the success of IVF. The emotional roller coaster that comes with IVF is something doctors often overlook. Imagine being on a journey filled with high hopes and deep disappointments, a journey that can be as mentally taxing as it is physically. The emotional challenges that come with IVF are immense and varied. Anxiety and depression are common companions during this process. You might find yourself worrying about the outcome, the financial implications, or the physical discomfort. These worries can spiral into anxiety, a constant nagging concern that can rob you of sleep and peace of mind. Depression too can creep in, especially after a failed IVF cycle. The sense of loss, the disappointment, the feeling of being stuck in a cycle of hope and despair, all these can lead to a state of low mood and aversion to activity. It's a tough road, and it's not just the woman who's affected. Partners also bear the brunt of these emotional challenges. They share in the hopes, the disappointments, the anxiety, and the depression. They too can feel helpless, caught in the relentless cycle of high expectations and crushing letdowns. But here's the thing to remember. It's okay to feel these emotions. It's okay to feel anxious, to feel down. It's part of the journey and acknowledging these feelings is the first step towards managing them. It's also important to talk about it, to share your feelings with your partner or a trusted friend or a professional counselor. So, understanding the emotional implications is key to navigating the IVF process. Another aspect that is often understated is the physical discomfort from injections. This discomfort can take many forms and can at times significantly impact your day-to-day -day life. You might experience some bruising or swelling at the injection site, or even a bit of a burning sensation during the injection itself. These reactions are quite normal and are a result of your body responding to the medication being introduced. It's also common to feel a bit of tenderness or soreness in the area, particularly if you're having to give yourself multiple injections throughout the day. This can make simple tasks like sitting or lying down in certain positions uncomfortable. And let's not forget the psychological discomfort of having to administer the injections to yourself or rely on someone else to do it for you. While these discomforts might seem daunting, it's important to remember that they're temporary and an essential part of your journey towards parenthood. It might help to think of them as stepping stones, each one bringing you closer to your goal. Some people find that applying a warm compress to the injection site or gently massaging the area can help alleviate some of the discomfort. However, if the discomfort becomes unbearable or if you notice any unusual symptoms like severe pain or infection, it's important to seek medical attention immediately. Your healthcare provider can offer advice and possible solutions to mitigate these reactions and make the process more bearable for you. 
preparation for this discomfort can make the IVF journey smoother. Knowledge is power, and understanding what to expect can help you better navigate this part of your IVF experience. IVF is not a quick fix, it's a lengthy process that demands time and commitment. Let's talk about the clock on this one. IVF isn't like dropping by the doctor's office for a quick checkup, it's more like a marathon than a sprint. From start to finish, one IVF cycle can take about four to six weeks. And remember, that's just one cycle. Not everyone gets lucky on their first round. Many couples need to go through multiple cycles which can span over several months or even years. Now why is it so time-consuming? Well there's a lot happening behind the scenes. From initial consultations and tests to daily injections, frequent ultrasounds and blood tests, every step is crucial and requires careful monitoring. And it doesn't stop there. Even after the embryo transfer there's a two-week waiting period to see if the procedure was successful. It's a period filled with anticipation and anxiety. The time-consuming nature of IVF calls for flexibility in your personal and professional life. You might need to take time off work for appointments or procedures, and you'll definitely need to carve out mental and emotional space for the journey. Patience is indeed a virtue when it comes to IVF. This journey requires a lot of waiting, a lot of hope, and a lot of resilience. But remember, every step brings you closer to the possibility of a new life. IVF, like any other treatment, comes with its own set of risks, one of them being early miscarriage. Though it's a subject we all find difficult to discuss, it's crucial to understand that the risk of early miscarriage is a reality in the journey towards parenthood, including the path of IVF. Scientific research shows that early miscarriage can occur in around one in four recognized pregnancies, regardless of the method of conception. The risk can be influenced by several factors, including age, health conditions, and lifestyle habits. When it comes to IVF, the chances can increase due to various reasons, such as the quality of the embryos or a woman's response to hormonal treatments. It's also important to remember that each person's body responds differently to IVF, making it impossible to predict outcomes with absolute certainty. The emotional toll of an early miscarriage can be heavy, bringing a wave of grief, loss, and disappointment. It's a challenging experience, but it's important to remember that you're not alone. Many people have walked this path before and have navigated through the storm. Being aware of this risk doesn't mean expecting the worst, but rather, it's about better preparing for the journey ahead. It's about understanding the full picture of IVF, to equip yourself with the knowledge to face whatever comes your way. Being aware of this risk helps in better preparing for the journey ahead. The impact of IVF treatments on self-esteem and body image is another point often overlooked. Struggling with infertility can be a challenge, and it can take a toll on an individual's perception of themselves. The process of IVF isn't just a physical journey, but an emotional one as well. It's not uncommon for individuals undergoing treatment to experience feelings of inadequacy or a sense of failure, which can, in turn, affect their self-esteem. Often the physical changes that occur as a result of the treatment such as weight gain from hormonal injections can also impact an individual's body image. It's important to remember that these changes are temporary and a part of the process, but that doesn't make dealing with them any less difficult. Furthermore, the emotional weight of the process can sometimes lead to individuals isolating themselves from their social circles. This isolation can further exacerbate feelings of low self-esteem and negative body image, creating a cycle that can be hard to break out of. However, acknowledging these feelings is the first step to dealing with them. It's completely normal to feel this way, and it's crucial to remember that you're not alone in this journey. There are many support groups and resources available for individuals undergoing IVF treatment to help them navigate these challenges. Understanding this impact can help individuals better cope with the changes. Last but not least, the importance of support throughout the process cannot be stressed enough. Embarking on a journey like IVF is not just a physical endeavor, but an emotional one as well. It's a marathon, not a sprint, and having a solid support system can make the difference in your overall experience. Having family and friends who understand what you're going through, who can lend an ear when you need to vent, or a shoulder to cry on during those tough days, is vital. Let them in, share your fears, your hopes, your disappointments. Their love and encouragement can be a wellspring of strength and resilience. But let's not forget professional help. Therapists, counselors or support groups specifically catered to fertility issues can provide invaluable advice and perspective. They can help you navigate the emotional roller coaster, offering tools to cope with anxiety, depression or self-esteem issues that may arise. And then, there's your partner, 
This journey is not yours alone, it's a shared experience and supporting each other is paramount. Open communication, understanding, patience, these are the building blocks of your shared support system. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to lean on others. It's okay to admit that some days are harder than others. This journey is challenging, but it's also a chance to discover your own strength and resilience, to deepen your relationships, and to learn to accept support with grace and gratitude. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Reach out for support when you need it. So there you have it, the eight things your doctor won't tell you about IVF. We've explored how age and egg quality can significantly influence success rates and the emotional challenges such as anxiety and depression that can affect both women and their partners. We've delved into the physical discomfort from injections and the time-consuming nature of IVF. We've talked about the risk of early miscarriage and how infertility treatments can impact self-esteem and body image. And let's not forget the importance of support throughout the process. Being informed and realistic, seeking help when needed, these are all crucial elements in navigating the complex journey of IVF. This video is not meant to discourage, but to enlighten and prepare you for the road ahead. Knowledge is power, and understanding what lies ahead can make the journey less daunting. If you found this video useful, do leave a comment below and tell us about your experience with IVF. Your feedback matters to us. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to know what happens to your body when you stop eating fast food, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.